François Savrin Marceau des Graviers was a French general of the Revolutionary Wars. Biography Early life des Graviers was born at Chartres, et Loire. His father served as a legal officer, and Marceau received an education for a legal career. But at the age of 16 he enlisted in the regiment of Savoy Carignan. Whilst on furlough in Paris, Marceau joined in the storming of the Bastille on 14 July 1789. After that event he took his discharge from the regular army and returned to Chartres. But the opposition of his family soon compelled him to seek new military employment. He became a drill instructor and later a captain in the R.A. Loire Departmental Regiment of the National Guard. In March 1792, Marceau was elected lieutenant colonel of one of the French Revolutionary Army battalions of the R.A. Loire. He took part in the defense of Verdun in 1792, and it was his troop that was ordered to bear the proposals of capitulation to the Prussian camp. The defenders' lack of morale provoked the anger of the revolutionary authorities, and Marceau was fortunate to find re-employment as a captain in the regular service. However, early in 1793, he along with other officers under suspicion were arrested and spent some time in prison. Then day on his release, Marceau hurried to take part in the defense of Saumur against the Vendéean royalists. Distinguishing himself at the Battle of Somer on 10 June 1793 by rescuing the representative Pierre Berbiter from the hands of the insurgents, the National Convention voted him the thanks of the country and he received rapid promotion. His conduct at the Battle of Chantonnay on 5 September 1793 won him the provisional rank of General of Brigade. On 17 October, he bore a great part in the victory at the Battle of Cholet, and on began his friendship with Jean-Baptiste Kelly Acute Ber while on the field of battle. Kelly Acute Ber was made a General of Division, and Marceau confirmed as General of Brigade. Marceau in turn became a general de division on 10 November, then succeeded to the commander-in-chief ad interim. With KLE acute BER, he crushed the Vendine rebels at the Battle of Le Mans on 12-13 December and at the Battle of Savigny on 23 December 1793. Love affairs in the wake of Le Mans, Marceau had rescued and protected a young royalist lady, Angelique des Messliers with whom it has been supposed Marceau fell in love, however, even his help could not save her from the guillotine. He and Kelly Acute Ber themselves were saved from arrest and execution only by the intervention of Berbata. Around this time Marceau became engaged to Agathe Lepreta de chateau Giron, but the marriage was prevented by his constant military employment. His broken health and the opposition of both Auguste Félicité Le Prestre de Château Giron and Marceau's devoted half-sister Amira, wife of the Republican politician Antoine Joseph Sergent. Battles of 1795-1796 After spending the winter of 1793-1794 in Paris, Marceau accepted a command in the army under John Baptiste Jordan alongside Kelly Acute Ber and took part in the various battles near Charlois. During the Battle of Fleurus on 26 June 1794 he had a horse shot from under him. He distinguished himself at Julich, at Taldenhoven and at Koblenz, where he stormed the enemy lines on 23 October. He took part in the 1795-1796 campaign with the armies of the Samba and Meuse, fighting on the Rhine and the Lahn and distinguishing himself alongside Kelly Acute Ber near Neuwed and Salzbach. Death after Jordan and Jean-Victor Marie Moreau's Rhine campaign of 1796 ended in defeat. Marceau's men covered Jordan's retreat over the Rhine. Marceau fought in the desperate Battle of Limburg on the Lahn River, while conducting a successful rearguard action near Altenkirchen on 19 September, he received a mortal wound. 
He died early the next morning, aged only 27. The Austrians competed with Marceau's own countrymen to honor the dead general. His body was burned and the ashes placed under a pyramid in Koblenz designed by KLE Acute BER. They were transferred to the Panthen in 1889. Marceau was immortalized in Byron's Child Harold's Pilgrimage. LVI by Koblenz, on a rise of gentle ground, there is a small and simple pyramid, crowning the summit of the verdant mound, beneath its base a hero's ashes hid, our enemies, but let not that forbid honor to Marceau, o'er whose early tomb tears, big tears, gushed from the rough soldier's lid, lamenting and yet envying such a doom, falling for France whose rights he battled to resume. LVII brief, brave, and glorious was his young career. His mourners were two hosts, his friends and foes, and fitly made the stranger lingering here pray for his gallant spirit's bright repose, for he was freedom's champion, one of those, the few in number, who had not o'erstepped the charter to chastise which she bestows on such as wield her weapons, he had kept the whiteness of his soul, and thus men o'er him wept.